hi guys it has been a long time since my last video but i was traveling to teach some workshops i just arrived from the beautiful ecuador please check my facebook if you like to see some of the photos of the event this is my first video tutorial with the april limited edition kit by my credit scrapbook this month the kit is fishing featuring the lavender collection by prima marketing i'm going to start this is the photo that i'm going to scrap and the i'm going to cut two cards from this beautiful paper i love the colors of this paper and for my base i select the other paper that is more vintage i use the distress tool by prima and i'm distressing all the edges of both uh, papers here i want this vintage uh, finish in uh, both paper then i'm going to place the photo in the area that i uh, i mean i'm going to place the papers on the photo in the area that i want but first i add a piece of cardboard behind each of the paper it gives me the a little of dimensions that i like when i am using uh, layers when I am making layers <coughs> so I add a piece of chipboard in both uh, pieces of paper now I'm going to uh, put both papers in the area that I want and with a pen pencil I trace uh, both papers I need to know uh, in my base paper where these pieces will be in that way I can add the colors around the marks but before i'm going to prepare my paper and i'm using a uh, clear gesso and i put a little of this uh of this uh product over the paper and i'm using a paintbrush to apply the clear gesso it looks white right now but once it's dry it will be uh, completely clear the importance of the gesso is that uh, it prepares the paper because you know that the paper has a lot of uh, fiber and it will uh, help that the paints and all the mixed media products that you use adhere better to the paper. Now I adhere uh, both pieces in the area I, I follow the pencil marks it's easy because i already have the marks and i add here one over the other to create the layers and now i am uh, doing the brush uh, dry brush technique i am using the distress ink because uh, i'm not using the oxide this time because the uh, the distress ink would uh, let me to see the background of the paper it gives you the color but don't cover uh, the handwriting and all the detail that this beautiful vintage paper has that is the reason that i apply uh, with a brush i just only uh, want a little of the color but if i use an acrylic paint or or other Paint, it will cover everything on the background and I don't like that I want to uh, see through the colors of the details now I am adding water with a bottle because I want uh, this uh, to create that effect that the water makes in the distress ink I love the this technique and with a paper towel I remove the excess of water here is a piece of uh, of cheesecloth that I already paint with the color blooms and now I'm playing with the fabric and given uh, a shape I want to uh, enhance the flowers the flowers now sorry the photo and my page with these uh, textures so I'm making some uh, pleats with the fabric and I'm playing because I want to create the fact that the fabric has movement that is not look flat on the paper and here is our here are the beautiful uh, prima flowers and i'm just playing with the flowers with the flowers bud to see uh, how i make the 
the arrangement here. I also add some of the leaves and I, I am just playing and see how I make my composition. This is one of the shipboard pieces. You receive a package uh, on the kit and some of the ephemera packages too. I am ready. I love how this corner looks. So I'm going to adhere all the flowers and pieces. But the shipboard, I decided to add 3D foam tape. I think it looks more beautiful when you uh, when you are um, building something with layers and you add uh, interest if you uh, create dimension in not in all the pieces but in one or two and if you notice I add some uh, glue of dot in some area because I don't want that the fabric look flat as I told you it looks uh, pretty if you uh, make some bumps with the fabric you make some area flat and you create this balance like the uh, fabric is moving now i will add the rest of the uh, embellishment and i will also uh, make uh, the corner on the top i add these butterflies i think it is from the ephemera packages and I put the flowers between the two layers of paper. It looks pretty in that way. And uh, now I decided to add textures, but this time I'm using a uh, modeling paste. I put uh, like two parts of modeling paste and I'm going to mix it with heavy gesso, with one part of uh, heavy gesso. And uh, why I did that? because I want that the, these textures enhance or highlight over the paint and in that way it looks uh, more white. So I will add now this mix over the area that has uh, the stencil but I am applying uh, I think it's like one inch white because I don't want too much texture I just want like a you know a touch. And <coughs> that the page look delicate at the same time you will see now that uh, once it's dried uh, it looks so pretty i love how it looks over the distress ink and carefully i am removing the fabric here you see what happened there but i'm not worried because once i apply this it will cover uh, the area that the <coughs> i've removed the paper with the glue now I continue adding these textures in the other corner here when I apply the paint. Now I decided to add a little more of color to highlight the flowers in this area here. I am just make the same technique with a dry brush. I apply the ink around the flowers and uh, around the fabrics. In that way, we, I will uh, I highlight this area here and create a balance between the flowers with the same color and the area that has the distress. The distress now I mean the stencil work. Once everything is smooth, I'm going now to add a uh, micro beads and I'm using the berry color that is very similar to the, to the fabric, but this time I, I put a little of the micro beads on the lid and add uh, the gel medium and I am making a mix of uh, micro beads with the gel medium. It will create like a paste with a lot of texture and I started using uh, or apply this uh, mix with the paintbrush but I'm going to change because uh, I was trying to make it easier and I take my spatula and I think it's easier with the spatula to spread this mix over the page 
it is like if you are a client uh, uh, put a uh, frosting on a cake same and once I add all these textures around the around my page here I will add uh, a little more of gel medium over all this stencil you will see soon because uh, I want sure you see I take a little of the these white things that I took with my spatula is gel medium that was on my mat this is like uh, I mean I, I applied over the over all the beads uh, micro beads because I want to make sure that it will uh, it has enough uh, glue because in this case I'm using the gel medium as adhesive now that everything is dry I take the gesso and with a sponge I create I give the this technique to smooth all the surface and to create more texture when you apply the gesso with a sponge over the fabrics and over all this texture you will see how you highlight all this texture it looks so pretty and at the same time I want to smooth the flowers the leaves so I am applying over the fabric over the fabrics the um, flowers and the leaves and everything it gives a nice finish to all the project and I think this is the last step I will add a few pearls and you can see here all the texture this is an easier page for a beginner and I hope that you like it I'm going to show you now the close-up photos uh, with all the details I hope that you like this video if you like it please let me know with a thumbs up and also in the description box down below is the link to the kit to my social media and i come back tomorrow with other video tutorials showing you this kit i see you soon bye bye don't forget to subscribe and click the bell see you soon bye bye